We are now approaching Red Roof. Change here for the bus service to Halston, Coldrose and the Lizard. So I went to St. Michael's Mount. It was illustrious. Um, and I found the giant's heart, which was the part that I remembered. Also, the treacherous slope getting up to the castle but also more so perhaps getting down from the castle like I, I um very rough cobbles and on an incline so an interesting journey um and it wasn't it didn't really rain, which was nice. It was actually fairly sunny, but the wind, like when I was on top of the hill, like getting in and out of the castle, it was like, had the power to like make me, it could have knocked me down. Um, it was, I could, I could like feel it moving me. <laughs> um, so while you're navigating, you know, the cobbles and the steps, and then you have the wind that could potentially knock you off course. It's all quite alarming. There's just something about just like seeing it from afar. That's really all I did today. I went down and I um, had a really nice train ride. That's part of the fun, honestly, is just the whole journey getting there. It's always nice. And then I, so when I first got there, my ticket was for 1 p.m. And I was there early, which was my goal, and it was like noon. So I went to a little cafe. They had crab soup, which was underwhelming, which I kind of had a feeling that it would be. And they had a crab sandwich, and I was like, well, maybe I should get that. But that was like... 12 pounds and I was like I know when they say crab sandwich it's literally going to be like a crab on bread like they're probably not even gonna de-shell it for me and I walked across the causeway the first time because I timed my visit so that I could walk across and sail back on the boat also very windy very buffety then you know you walk up and then you can look down and you can see the gardens and it's very beautiful and went back down and i was immediately hungry again because the soup soup is not a meal <laughs> and then i had and it had been a few hours you know had passed obviously but and then i got i went to the island cafe and then i came back and I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna ask for some dinner. And then I'm going to get a bunch of practical housekeeping items done that I have on my to-do list. Um, and tomorrow I'm going to the Lost Gardens of Helgen. Oh. <laughs>
I'm wearing a little headscarf like Cinderella. Um, I emerged out to the car park at 4.15 and the bus left at 4.05. So now I have to wait for the 5.05. And I just, people keep asking me if I'm going to go to Eden Project. But I, after this, I just don't feel the need to go. I feel like I've seen a lot of plants I, out in the wild. And I don't know if I need to see them in a domesticated setting. They have a rope bridge and I went over the rope bridge three times. And apparently during the height of the summer season, you can wait for up to 30 minutes to go over the rope bridge. And I was like, wow, really glad that it is not the tourist season. Usually there would be someone on the bridge when I got to the bridge. And so I just wait for them to leave. And then I'd get to walk across all by myself. And one time I just stood in the middle and I swung side to side. <laughs> and I wanted to just lay down. But then I was like, mm, that's a, that's a little extreme. Just you never know when someone's coming around the corner. It's not it's not that deserted. <laughs> and it reminded me of the dark crystal because it was like very weird plants and like I don't know. It did feel like another world in a lot of the parts. It was really really cool. And then you go back up to the mainland and they have a bunch of animals they have like a whole farm but none of the animals were out in the pasture today except oh some pigs i saw some pigs which was really exciting because i love pigs i saw some goats which i was like well i can see goats at home for free you know um in kentucky and i don't see goats that often um, but I didn't see any sheep, um, which is fine. You know what? I've, I'm in England. I can see sheep at home for free, and I have. Um, but the goats were a Guernsey something, like a rare breed, and they were, like, nearly all wiped out during World War II, one or two, because... They, I, somebody, somebody was killing all the livestock. Oh, George, not the livestock. Almost all of these goats were killed, but this lady, like, hid her goats away like Moses. Anyway, I don't know if all of the goats are now from, descended from those goats. If those were the last two goats in England, but she was one of the people who helped make sure that the species did not go extinct then i was in the gift shop and there was this it was like a picture book i guess it was for children but it was really depressing because it was about world war one and i flipped through the whole thing 14 of the gardeners from heligan all went off to war and nine of them were killed and they had like a little grocery it was the farm shop but it was like a small grocery store like they were not messing around um i assume with like local produce and i don't know if they if i don't think all of that comes from them i'm sure it's just local from the area but and, and there was a really fun playground and i was like man if i had a kid with me I could make them play on the playground and then i would have to like follow them around but really i just get to go on the playground so that is the advantage to having offspring. <laughs> and I listened to the Dark Crystal soundtrack because if you don't have a good soundtrack, you will not enjoy yourself nearly as much. So that is, if anyone ever visits, that is my recommendation for your background music.
I look positively feral. I'm really, really glad for a lot of reasons that I'm here at the end of the tourist season because I just came down to this beach to have my semi-weekly cry. Do you think I'd be able to do that in the middle of July? I don't think so. And if I did, it would be with a really large and really uncomfortable audience. the cavern it's all about this sassy little fairy right here um, I've just finished the fairy walk and I promise I thought about poloing you on the journey but I kind of wanted to it savor it so I took a lot of videos but I didn't want to be like you know how when you just are on your like filming everything and you don't really have time to experience it I did not want to do that but now I'm going to take a little stroll down the road and I'm going to see if I can find where we, um, Traverban Veen Lodge, where we stayed. So we literally like in the bus, we went right past where it is. And I, it, there's a lot of trees, but that's pretty. Very majestic, very good, very nice. Um, there's a bus stop down here at the end of the road too, which is great. I think maybe I saw it, but there's, as you can see, many tree. Um, so the next bus doesn't come until like two. So I have about a half hour to kill anyway. So I'm just going to take a little stroll and see if I can find it. And maybe if it doesn't look like there are any signs of life, maybe I'll go up and peek in the windows, see if I can find Ben the flower pot man. <laughs> okay, you said give me one sec, and that was yesterday, so <laughs> what happened to the bangs, I need to know. Just chillin'. More like Chillery Clinton, am I right? <laughs> I'm in Polpero, pretty quaint. Just waiting for my bus. Um, wishing you were here. And there's just so many cute things. And it'd be really fun to see them together. Ah! I've lost my AirPods so many times. One day they're just gonna fall into the ocean. Now look. 
look at that road, look at that climb. When it's throwing in a nickel, you'll get out of dime. Too pat and too close, too flat and too broke. Now look at you go. Took the morning to float, took the morning to find. I got a vision of a mission, but an awkward vibe. Too living, too scared, too loving, too close. Now look at you go. Know. So yesterday, I went to the most mythical place, and I almost didn't go, and I'm so glad that I did. Uh, so I woke up, and it was really rainy, and I was like, mm, I don't, it was my day off, and I didn't really have any plans. And I was like, well, maybe I'll just kind of, like, get on random buses and get off at random towns and go into random tea rooms because I don't want to be walking around outside. Well, that is not what happened. Um... I mean, it is a little bit. Like, I went and got breakfast, and then I took a bus. Like, I was like, I'll just get whatever bus is next, and it was the bus back to Newquay. And then I was in Newquay, and then I was like, okay, well, I've been wanting to go to, like, it was kind of on my list to go to Tintagel Castle, because that's, like, it's, like, one of the castles that's in the Arthurian legends. And I was like, I'm kind of up that way anyway, so, like, why not? And, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I went. Like, it was so mystical. And honestly, it was perfect that the weather was bad because it was, like, misty and foggy. And it was so cool. And I actually, like, by the time I got there, it had already closed for the day, which is fine because I didn't have a ticket. The castle itself is on this... You have to, like, cross over a bridge to get to it. It's kind of, like... 
its own little island. And so, like, they they had that closed off, but they had, like, everything around it. I just could, like, walk in, and there was, like, nobody there. And even, like, in the whole little town, it was, like, there were people there, but it was just so quiet. It was the weirdest feeling. It felt like, like, when I first got there, everybody knew something I didn't. Like, there was a hurricane coming or something, and I was, <laughs> was going to get caught out. And I was like, why are, what? It wasn't even like where are the people it was like where is the noise like it was just oh it was like such a weird spooky feeling and it was amazing and i like went down and went climbed around on the hills and amongst the ruins of the castle and like wa went down by the water oh my gosh it was so amazing um, and there was like i did not see a single soul down at the castle when i was down there it was awesome um so anyway, that was a fun time. Um, I'll have to send you some of the little videos I took because it was just mystical. Oh my gosh, okay. I, first of all, that's where I came from. That's, that's where I came from. Something about this is absolutely wreaking havoc with my fear of heights that I forgot I had that and I mean I'm also doing this so that's kind of an adrenaline rush for me it's not it's not that exciting and I'm like the only person here because it's closed and um I came real close to um crossing over the just jumping the little guardrail and going on up and I lost my nerve because I'm a coward but also because I have been fined before for minor offenses and I just don't really have the money for that at this time. So anyway. Okay, you can't tell me that if I were to walk through that little window there that I would not go back in time.
unhinged. 